Well, good afternoon, good evening, and thank you guys once again for joining the 980s podcast hosted by yours truly, Kevin Thompson, founder and CEO of 980s Capital Group. Thank you guys for joining us. As I always say, please subscribe to the channel here on the YouTube station. Go to YouTube and type in 980s Capital Group and listen to our podcast. If you want to listen to the audio version, go to Apple, iTunes, or SoundCloud and type in 980s Capital Group there to listen to our podcast via the audio version. Thank you guys also for getting the book, MLB to CFP, which is available to you today on the Apple Books. So please go there and uh, go ahead and listen to that. It's a good, good, good opportunity to learn a little bit about myself, Kevin Thompson, and my MLB experience. Also, don't hesitate to go to our website, www.9inningscapitalgroup.com, and just ask questions. You can also go to our email at 9innings at 9icapgroup.com if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about today's material. So we got all that out of the way. There's some things happening right now, ladies and gentlemen, that you need to be concerned about. The IRS has just sent out 11 million notices. 11 million notices of a math error. The IRS math error. What does it mean? How's it impact you? Well, thanks for joining us today on the 980s podcast. We are here to talk to you about the IRS math error and how that impacts you. Let's get it. So as I mentioned to you before, the IRS has sent out almost 11 million notices stating that they have an IRS math letter error. So how does that impact you? Traditionally, when you get notices from the IRS, I can tell you this. It's never one of those things where they say, oh, by the way, well, I'm not saying never. I'll say it's most likely one of those things where they're not going to say, oh, we owe you more money. Most likely when you're getting a a notice from the IRS, it's basically stating that you owe them something. And you need to pay this in a certain amount of time. So right now, based on the fact that there's an IRS math error and these notifications have been sent out to 11 million individuals, why has this happened? Well, let's start with why. Why is because stimulus was just paid. That stimulus checks go out to individuals. You had the child tax credit that's gone out to individuals. And you have all these corrections to old tax forms. And you also have 9 million forms, according to the website, to the IRS website. 9 million forms that have yet to be uh, submit, submitted through the system. That are in processing. And on top of that, you have a very depleted workforce in the IRS community. Because people haven't come back to work due to COVID and due to things of that nature. So you have a lot of events that are causing a huge backlog of unprocessed returns. You have a stimulus that came out and and pushed things through uh, through the system where now people are getting these notifications. And now in the future, even though the child's tax credit hasn't necessarily gone through the system, you will most likely get another math error notification from the government because of the child tax credit. So that's the why. So let's go to who. Who does it impact? Well, we all know who this impacts. It impacts the people that have already paid their quote unquote stimulus money. The people that have already paid their quote unquote tax refunds. The people that have already paid all this money out and can ill afford to receive a notification stating that they owe money back. So the people that are going to get these IRS notifications are the people that are going to have to pay this money back to the IRS. So let's talk about how to pay this back. Well, typically you can have a CPA or a tax professional that you can give these documents to. Of course, they're gonna charge you money to process these, but they will get this done for you on your behalf and then send the money to the IRS and take care of it for you if you have the ability to do so. Most of the people that this is actually impacting may not have the ability to pay a tax professional or a CPA an additional four or $500 to get this stuff done. So how 
it impacts the p person that cannot afford to do this is that they have to call an already depleted IRS agency and stay on hold for several, several minutes, 45 minutes to an hour in the hopes of getting this rectified within 60 days. You have 60 days to get this taken care of or if you do not do that within 60 days, you cannot argue the point that you don't owe this money. So they, give, they gave you a 60 day statute of limitation on this IRS math error for you to handle if you don't have a CPA or a tax, tax professional. That means you taking time from work, calling into the IRS with long hold times, hoping to get a hold of someone to rectify the situation. So that's how you do it. I've already mentioned when. You have to do this within, within 60 days to get this done. There's a statute of limitation on this IRS math, math error. You have to, get, have to do it within 60 days or it's no longer um, debatable. So we talked about the who is going to impact. Most likely the people that cannot afford to pay this uh, tax back to the IRS. We had talked about why it happened because of the, the um, stimulus payments that have come out and the adjustments to the income and then also the adjustments that have yet to be, um, that have yet to be processed through the 9 million unprocessed or unfiled um, tax returns. We talked about when you have to do this within a 60 day period so you can combat the statute of limitation. And we talked about how you have to contact the IRS. So the most important thing here to understand is that if you get an IRS notification, contact the IRS and handle this expeditiously. Get this done as soon as you can so you don't have to worry about not only not getting it paid and having to pay an additional amount next year because they're putting interest payments on that. But the fact that you don't have to get very demanding letters from the IRS or calls from the IRS. And by the way, if you're getting emails from the IRS, don't open them. They won't send you an email. <laughs> so this is a very short podcast today about the IRS math error and what it means for you. And if you do get a math error, who to contact? It's always important to have a team around you. If you can manage to have a team around you, a financial advisor, a tax professional, a CPA, an attorney. All these individuals need to be in concert as your team. So as you have your team, when things like this pop up, whether it be something from a legal standpoint, you have your attorney you can talk to. If it's something from a financial standpoint, you have your advisor to talk to. If it's something from a tax professional standpoint, you have your CPA, your tax professional. It's always good to get these guys in a room. It's always good to have a team that you can contact when things like this happen because they will happen. And they will continue to happen because in the future, if you're getting an IRS notification of a math error now, you will most likely get one in the future due to the child tax credit. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was, was educational. Please don't hesitate to contact us at 9 at 9icapgroup.com. Please also go to our website, www.9innescapitalgroup.com. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can also go to our, our LinkedIn and our Facebooks. And also go to our YouTube channel here and subscribe to the channel. Let people know that we're honestly just getting, giving them information. And if you want to schedule an appointment, go to the website, 9innescapitalgroup.com and schedule a meeting in the middle of the page there. And we'll be happy to serve you. Thank you guys for joining us. As you always know, we're here to do what? Educate, empower, and engage. And that's what we, hear, that's what we did here today. We appreciate you. Stay humble, stay safe, and stay healthy.